Welcome to episode eight of the Connecticut Wedding Channel. My name is Jim Collins and I'm the owner of Collins Entertainment. Every week we chat with Connecticut vendors who offer help to couples who are overwhelmed about the process of hiring their vendors. Today on our show, we have Frank Schroll from the Glassbury Hills Country Club. Frank, thank you for being on the show. Oh, thanks for having me. Absolutely. What's new and upcoming with the Glassbury Hills Country Club? Well, we're, we're very excited. We're uh, currently uh, doing a major renovation to the banquet facility. At this time, it's probably 90% completed. It'll be totally completed before the end of this month. Uh, we're doing a food tasting at the end of the month just to uh, have prospective bride and grooms or even people that have already booked in here at the country club to come out and sample the food. It's $20 per person. It's money well spent. We're more excited about people who have been here in the past to come in and see the new facelift we've given it. Uh, just the feedback we've gotten in the last four months since the, the renovation started taking place, people can't believe they're in the same Glastonbury Hills Country Club. Mm. It, they have to walk outside the building to realize they're in the same building. Uh, it's just a lot of cosmetics, uh, just changing out ceiling tiles, uh, crown molding, uh, different color schemes, getting rid of all the carpeting in the facility where it's all hardwood or, or um, tile. Uh, it's very exciting. Am I correct in saying that you also offer lighting decor for couples that are considering to have lighting too as well? Well, we have, I mean, it, it's all part of the package. Yeah. Uh, the form of up lighting where um, it's a stream of lights that can be probably have a half a dozen different colors. So right. if you have a color scheme that you want to go with, we could probably help you out. Mm -hmm. We changed out the sh chandeliers in the main ballroom. Um, but just the feedback and just the traffic coming through here, even though people see that it's still under construction, they're so excited and it's showing with the bookings that, that, that have taken place in the last couple of months. My wife and I had our wedding uh, 2004 in Glassbury Hills Country Club and it was unbelievable. Uh, everybody on the team was so responsive and, and taking care of us and, and making sure that we were all sat. And we really, you know, felt like we didn't have to worry about anything. Everybody, all the team of vendors we were working with were, you know, communicating effectively and efficiently. So everything went so smoothly. We know that they've got a lot on their plate. Um, just what, like what you had said earlier um, about us. I mean, we take pride in making, I mean, it's a big day for you. I, what I, I kid with bride and groom to say, you know, we get a lot of practice at it. We think we're getting pretty good um, as far all the detail that goes into it between working, you know, our hostess, the head table waitress, photographer, the DJ, just so everybody's on the same page that day. Just right. you're here, the bride and groom, not to worry about the little details. When do we cut the cake or do this or that? I think we put the bride's mind at ease and that's why we book weddings is just, they feel very comfortable, whether it's they're working with me, Jackie or Allison or all three of us. It's always a celebration when people come, come into the country club. So if a, a couple is looking for a location to have their ceremony, they could have it on site there, correct? Exactly. And, and it seems to me that uh, we're doing more ceremonies on site with the reception. And, and, that, and I don't think it's necessarily that the bride and grooms don't want to get married in the church. Right. They want one-stop shopping. They, want, they don't want their guests to have to go from A to B, from the ceremony to the reception. Have it all in one place. Yeah, and I think obviously it's going to be much smoother with just the, the transitions and the timeline. And as you mentioned, I guess won't have to travel and there won't be a lag of time in between where they're kind of going, well, what do we do now? <laughs> so it certainly helps for sure. Um, great. So, and, and, and I'm sure you offer so many different packages, whether it's mitzvah or weddings, private parties. Uh, I'm, so focusing on, on wedding packages, uh, is, is there a range? Do you custom design packages for couples? Or? We, we like to direct people to our website. We put out our prices. You know, we're not bashful. We want, I mean, I feel like myself, we, 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 you know, we do our homework. We check out other banquet facilities to see what they offer, mm -hmm. an idea what their package prices are, just to, to stay competitive. You know, I'll check out other places, and they don't put their prices out there. And mm -hmm. if it, as a buyer, I don't know if I'm going to make the call to find out, you know, if I if I see something in writing and I, I, I'll make a phone call, but if I don't see anything, then, you know, maybe I can't afford it or, but our website, we, we direct people there. There's so much information. We've got several packages to choose from. We'll get, you know, some brides will go with the package as is. Some want to customize it. 
whatever you want to do, we can do it for you. Yeah, very accommodating. And that's a good point, Frank. I, I think that many couples, when they're looking in and they don't have an idea of, of how much services are or what to expect or even a range when they're trying to come up with a budget, if you don't have that idea of even that starting package of where that would be, then yeah, maybe it's, it's a matter of not looking further into it. So it, it, it's good that you have that available so they have the expectation of, of what they get and what type of service they get for their money. Right, exactly. Um, our packages range from, I think the starting point is $47 per person up to I think $105 per person. One of the challenges for bride and grooms is we recently had somebody book in their wedding and they were gonna go with, go with one of our higher end packages. Mm -hmm. Well, a month after they booked in, they said they're going to have to downsize. I think what happened is, you know, some bride and grooms maybe don't talk to their parents prior to booking a place to find out how much financial help they may get from the parents. Mm -hmm. So that all of a sudden, you know, after they book and then they think they're going to get the deluxe package and then maybe realize the mom and dad can't help them, as, help them out as much as they'd like, they have to downsize. So sometimes that's challenging. You know, it adds up. We feel our prices are pretty competitive. Mm. The bride and grooms are not just paying for the banquet facility. You know, they got dresses and, and, you know, professional people, DJs, photographers, dresses to buy. So it's, it adds up in a hurry. Right. Now the capacity prior to the expansion, has that changed? No, no. We, we, we say we can accommodate up to 350 people. Yeah. Uh, typically that's more for a prom or sorority party that, that uh, will hit those numbers. Probably the average wedding now ranges from 100 people to maybe 150 to 170. Yeah. I know that couples, when they're trying to figure out uh, ceremony services, for example, if, if there's inclement weather or a threat of that, uh, there's a plan B, I'm assuming, for that. So if they have their ceremony, they could have it elsewhere. Exactly. Yep. We, we, we'll do it right on the ballroom dance floor. Okay. And, how what we've done, everybody used to comment on how large our dance floor was. By eliminating all the carpeting, it's one giant dance floor. So you can have as big or as small a dance floor as you'd like. Frank, is there a way that couples can get an idea and sense of the updates and the just some pictures or video of what the Glassbury Country Club looks like now? Uh, thank you. I'm glad you asked. Uh, we direct people to go right to our website, www.glastonburyhills.com. And on the home page, if you were to click and look in the bottom right hand corner of the page, it says renovations, click here, you'll get to the renovation pages. And then you can see just the dramatic uh, improvements that have been made here, as well as I believe there might even be a drone, some drone video of the golf course. As a matter of fact, I have it here for you. So take a look. Uh, Frank, what's the best way for couples to get in touch with you if they have any questions? Sure. I mean, uh, they can either call us at 860-633-5253 or send us an email to banquets at glastonburyhills.com and ask for Allison, Jackie, or myself. Frank, thank you so much for coming on the show.